Hey what's going on guys, Detroit here and welcome to my first computer graph video. And in this video I'm going to show you how to make a door lock system, how to code it and if you got any questions on it just ask. And if you got other questions on other scripts that I didn't mention yet or something like that or your own scripts just say it and I will take a look at it because I because I want to. So let's going to, let, first I'm going to find a, a good place to start with. This is by the way this is my, uh, my um, modded world. The world I talked about in the trailer, if you saw it, if you didn't saw it yet, go check it out. And um, let me just clear my inventory a bit. Alright, so there we go. So let's call the elevator. This is heavily modded with, I, I think, 49 mods, 50 mods. So yeah, let's just uh, let's just uh, look for a good place to start. Like you see, we have, we got all sort of stuff. We got apartments, casinos, hotel, penthouses. You get almost everything, even in uh, even in uh, eighteen plus bar. All right, so let's see. Let's see. Do we have a great place to build this? All right. Well, I found a place. So all right. Let's say um, this is your house. You want to protect this from uh, from uh, yeah from being opened and from stealing and stuff. Well, oh, great music in the background. Oh, there we go. So what you're gonna do is first you're gonna make uh, let's see an iron door, pretty handful, pretty handy. So there we go, a button. Oh yeah, by the way, that animation, the door animation, is uh, because one of the mods. So we'll put a link in the description for it. So uh, what you wanna do is you wanna clear, clear, uh, clear one, this one or that one. Doesn't doesn't really care. Just 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 like where you put your button. But this time we're gonna put a, put a computer. Well, I've got the advanced computer from the computer graph. I will also put in the script uh, link to the script in the description there. We got a normal computer and the advanced computer. This normal computer and just the advanced computer. I'm gonna use the advanced because it looks nice. I'm not gonna use any color in the in the script yet, just because um, otherwise it won't be compatible with the normal computer. Um, Alright, so what you want to do is edit, and you can call it whatever you want, uh, so I'm going to call it uh, door lock. Alright, so now I've made this. What I'm going to want to tell you here is I am not working in this, uh, in a Minecraft program. I'm using a Notepad++, let's see if we have it here. I must somewhere have it here on my second screen. No, I want to save this. Alright, so, all right, so here it is. Um, so I'm going to open. I'm using Nova Plus Plus in uh, for uh, for programming because it's it's very handy. It's very handy. It's very how do you say that? Um, you can see what you're doing, and you cannot really see what you're doing in the computer. Graph. Although the advanced computer has that function, it will also give some color to it, so you will have uh, you can see it here. But all right, so we've got a lot of worlds. I'm just opening the world. All right, so you go to your saves. You're choosing the world where you where you're in, and then. Choose computer. There will be a ma uh, folder called computer. Now uh, there are, or right, I have a lot, a lot of computers in it yet already, but it's the last one. Always, it's always the last one. Oh no, it's not the last one. No, it's not the last one. All right. So all right, uh, what? Let's see. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot to save it. So, all right. So if we go to Minecraft, uh, saves. PMC remake computer and now it will be number 16 door lock. All right, so I'm gonna edit it. Um, oh, select. Or it's empty. I'm gonna exit here. So, so I'm being in the in the shell or the terminal, how you want to call it. So here I'm gonna change it up. So first I'm gonna say it's uh, this this uh, langu program language is Lua. So I'm just gonna choose syntax Lua. So I will uh, see the stuff I'm doing. All right. Um, First, we want to uh, define what the password is. We, we're gonna make a door with a password lock. What we're gonna do is type password is, and then um, those things. I don't know how they're called in English. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm from the Netherlands, so. And you type your password. In my case, I'm just call it password. Very easy, just password. So, what we want to do now? What I'm normally doing now is um, I will make a function that clears. Um, 
sc a screen so I can easily do it instead of typing two or three um, things but I will do it just um, I will do it easy for now all right so let's see term dot I guess it was clear screen oh god I, I forgot, I'm forgetting this <laughs> so let's see all right I got multi I you know I'm I have more scripts than one so this is one of this is my security script that I made you probably saw, saw it in the trailer here I made uh, the clear the function clear but I'm just gonna copy it for now it's very easy so there you go so it was clear I'm normally you copying other things from my own script because then I don't have to write it all myself so it's faster about functions I will cover that in a later episode so don't worry we will come there so right first I want to clear the screen so it's nice and clear and we uh, we are going on uh, the coordinate 1 1 so it's left up screen up left so then we want to make a well, right, nice interface I guess so we're gonna type uh, yeah, what are we gonna type? Uh, welcome to, I don't know, Android's house. And then, uh, we'll wanna, uh, enter. And type. Uh, please put in, please enter the password. The word to enter. So um, then I go. Oh, then I will do write pass password. All right. Don't forget the, the 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 space here because it's really necessary. Then we do. Um, this is what I called a uh, sort of yeah temp thing that he will hold on to because what we do what we did here with password. If we say password just like this password word. He will uh, think, all right, password, password, all right, he means, this is what he means, he means a string password. So if I say temp, temp does not exist yet, and if I say is, uh, read, this will mean um, temp is, is temp, it's same as this thing, like if I say password, it will go to here, if I say temp, it will go to read. Well, for now, uh, temp is read. And read will say um, read is like he will uh, read what the password is. He will he will read what you're we you were typing here. By the way, I'm just gonna change it to uh, password uh, pass w wd <laughs> is read. So then he will store the password in pass wd. It will read. But oh, and we we also want it. Oh no, no I'm gonna show that later. All right, so. Um, now we want to uh, check if the password is correct. So now we're gonna make an if statement. So if pass, I'm gonna put an a here. If pass wd is is, it's important you do the double s, the double thingies. Um, password. Then, so basically what it says if you just uh, read it literally, if the password that you put in is the password here then we will open the door so um, you, you can we do redstone dot set output just like this don't forget the O the O is very important if you do it uh, if you do the, the, the little letter it will not work um, so then we need to define which side our door is well our door was at oh there we go uh, left so left and then true so so we'll set the rest of the output to true then we're gonna give the user a few well seconds to get in so let's say three seconds redstone stone that set output left false all right and that's it let me grab some water Maybe you can hear there's a fan uh, turned on to my face because it's pretty hot out here. But anyway, let's go back to the script. Um, so we may put the left side to false again, and then we just um, let it restart. So OS reboot. So else, all right. So that is the the, the if statement for uh, the password. If the password is password, then this will happen. He will open the door. 
but if not so else will mean if not if anything else but the rest that is inputted what then all right so then we will um he will say oh by the way first i want to clear this a bit out gonna make it a bit beautiful so print um opening door so that look that looks better that looks a lot better all right so what if it isn't the password then we will just gonna say uh, clear and say uh, not open door that's not what we're gonna say we're gonna say um you and um password incorrect password incorrect it will give you a few seconds well I'll say two seconds and then it will reboot all right then we'll end the whole if the, the whole if statement it's that's pretty handy like here you can see I have made functions you get you got here that that little uh, this thing you also have it here so you can see if it ends correctly if you're working a big strip like this one you see I have, I have if statement or else if statement I have again an if statement so then it's really nice to uh, see what what ends what that sounded really weird uh, but anyway let's continue so well I think we made it just like we needed to so now we can test it out so we can go to Minecraft we're gonna open this we can do ls to uh, see what's in there or right, we get a map ROM and we get uh, the script door lock so let's open door lock door lock all right so we got an error because we have um, something needs to end so let's see in this section we can I'm not gonna sh tell you how to um, solve the uh, error so you have an error on line 20 here's the 20 so let's go to line 20 all right so let's see uh, 20 temp clear all this all normal hmm. oh wait and I, I should save it I forgot to save it I'm sorry so don't forget to save it's important all right so there you are now it will say this welcome to uh, Android house please enter the battle so if I say uh, cheese he said it was like password incorrect in the will reboot so door lock but if I say the password so let's uh, password opening door all right give, go and it will give me three seconds to get it now all right that's nice but a uh, few things it doesn't start automatically we, have, we need to type door lock. now I don't want that because hackers can just hack into this uh, very easy they can just do if they are hackers you can just type lua you can do uh, ros set output uh, left true temp call nil wait yeah uh, red stone i'm sorry temp call nil what Oh yeah, I forgot something here. So there you go. So I can just open it up very easy. So we want, we don't want to do this. Not, 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 not a lot of people will know this, but now you know. So all right. So let's. I'm just gonna clear it out so it's fresh and clean. All right. So how we gonna do this? Well, we're gonna make a program that's called Startup. I'm not gonna do it in here because not really much. It needs to call Startup and it needs to be on the root folder. Why? Because a computer graph will look for the start up script if you get a script called startup he will open it when it runs if you call it something else it will not work so startup what we're gonna type is shell dot run like this and here we're gonna type our script so door lock and will automatically run the script on startup so now if we say reboot reboot and it will go in here so, but now we got another problem. He, if some multiple people can just do this, or someone can just stand here, you can just you can see what you're doing, and you can just go think, all right, I'm typing my password. But everyone can see it, so that's not what we want to do. We don't want to let's see the password. So, what are we going to do? Is we are going to go back to here. It's a very easy trick I've learned. You just do this. When you do the password input and you do read, do put this in the between it and now you will see what happened when we do that so we just need to restart it's control R 
There we go. Now if I type something, oh, save it. Though I forgot to save it again. All right. Control R. So, so now if I type, it will just only shows this. So that's pretty nice. Now we can see what you're typing. That's good. But now there is another thing. What if someone just knows a lot about computer graft and they do Control T? This will terminate it and we'll go back to here and I can do the Lua thing again and yeah, well, you know what I you know what I'm trying to say. So we can terminate it and that's not what we want to do. We don't want to get it terminated. So what do we want to do is we want to not make it. So what we're going to type at the beginning of the script is this OS pull event is OS pull event. Well, I don't really know what this means. I know what this means. But not in the sentence if this is not in combination with this. But if you put this here, I have uh, tried it out and you cannot terminate it. So if I am doing, let's see, uh, no, reboot. I saved it, yeah, I saved it. Alright, so now if you're trying to control T, I pressing control T, you can see it on the screen. No, it doesn't work, like you see, but I still can control, do control S and do control, uh, control R and control S. But that doesn't really matter because it will come back in. And anyway. So alright, so that is the, the door lock script. So you can uh, protect your door. You can make, by the way, I'm gonna show you one little thing. How to make this really fancy. Because my security script is all fancy, fancy also. So I'm just gonna type print. I have mark macro set up. So I can just do a control shift O. So I can type print in one time. But alright. So how can we make this really fancy? Well, I have uh, a line decoration. In my security script, not really important, but if you do, let's say we do this and we do this here too, and we do this here too, then just save it. Oh, we saved it, great. Then we can reboot the system, and then we, yeah, there we go. You got the little uh, thing in here. It looks pretty fancy. And if we type a password, everything correct. And if we type password, there we go. We're opening the door. So it looks really fancy, so you can make it very fancy, you can also, you can put it anywhere you want, just make sure you get print for it. So let's go over all the things that I didn't go over and maybe just go over again. So pool event, in combination with it, I don't know what it means, it will just prevent from control t -ing. Password is password, it will say if you type this, this password like this, it will refer to the string, to the string that says password. Term clear will clear the terminal, but go to the, the second line, and this will make sure it will go back to the first line. And uh, this is just a little print decoration. Uh, all right, so this, this is the text, the right way you can type, and then this will make sure uh, you can type, and you can see it in the only with this. The if statement. So if password, if what you typed is this, the password where we refer to was password. All right, then clear it. Go back to uh, the, the first coordinate. Print is go redstone output, sleep for three seconds, redstone output, and reboot. Well, and if it not is that, then terminal clear to set the cursor position, print this, print this, sleep, and reboot, and that's the end. So it will also reboot, uh, it, will, it will anyway reboot. And that is, I guess, all there is to show. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, there was a little video uh, on how to make it. If you got any problems, any problem, yeah, any error problems or thingies with it, just tell me and I will. Um, I'll take a look at it. And if you have, a, of, and if you're making notes and you don't know what to do and you don't want to go to a forum or something, just uh, send it to me and I'll take a look at it. If there is something wrong, I'm also an, an amateur on this. Well, kind of an amateur. I'm getting pretty good at it. My security script is pretty advanced, but alright. But still, if you like the video, like, comment, and subscribe. And then I will see you back in another video. Bye bye.